we hear from Tony Kukoc, and this is what he has to say on Nikola Jokic. Keep in mind, this is Nikola Jokic. Despite the statistics, Jokic isn't at the level of Vlade Divac and Dino Raja in the center position. <laughs> Tony Kukoc on Nikola Jokic. Now, if you don't know who that is, uh, Dino Raja is Celtic center from back in the day i don't know all that bro. i think he played in the 90s but i'm gonna be honest i didn't know about him till i seen this tweet <laughs> so. and again this is this is uh the same vladi who had problems with luca and didn't want to draft luca now apparently it was much more than basketball but th let me <laughs> Dama... <laughs> Dama, what do you think man tell me first of all you must have known luca was like a Aaron Hernandez in the making, if you thought that there was reasons other than basketball not to draft him. That is crazy. That I've never heard that. That's insane. I just thought he was a bad GM. He is. Kukos just better be lucky if Hall of Famer. That's crazy. Don't trust these hoop niggas. Just because niggas play basketball, don't mean they know basketball. I've, I've said it before, and I will keep saying it. Just because niggas play ball, don't mean they know ball. It's idiotic. We might have to revisit that whole uh, the chicken and the egg conversation. <laughs> with who started the uh the hate you know what i'm saying is it the oh, new gen oh, dudes i'm because i'm looking at this i'm like what the fuck prompted this despite the statistics that's not that's not a young person gassing up Jokic to an nth degree it's just these are his statistics despite his statistics he's not better than vlade divak i don't know from because I, I i quote retweeted the tweet saying oh brother and i think dkm says something in the replies and looking back at uh tony parker and his comments on luca a couple weeks back too i feel like when it comes to european greatness they specifically specifically value what you do in the euro leagues and they don't give a shit what the fuck you do in the nba for some reason you know what it is it's the fact that these guys are being seen so great so quickly so young now like they're not if you look at the average young foreigners perspective in terms of their career it's nothing like what those older guys had to go through it's nothing like what Tony Parker had to go through coming over and playing NBA basketball. It's nothing like the stories uh, Tony Kukoc would tell you about coming over to play NBA basketball. It was a lot harder. So to me, I feel like it's a lot of hate. A lot of hate to see that a nigga like Luka just comes over and is the NBA darling with his style of play. It's a lot of hate seeing Wimby come over, NBA darling with his style of play. It's a lot of hate seeing Giannis and Jokic being, you know, the best players in the NBA. If you ask guys now, who runs the league out of the top 10 guys name the top 10 in the nba six of these niggas are foreigners that shit eats at tony parker that nigga wishes that in 03 they would say oh yeah it, it, the foreigners is running shit no you niggas was not getting that kind of courtesy you wonder why because niggas like gilbert arenas was playing it was the, get the niggas out my league niggas that's who they played against they get the niggas out my league niggas before we move on with the rest of the podcast, we want to shout out the sponsors of this video, Prize Picks, our personal favorite way to play daily fantasy sports. And the game is very simple. All you got to do is go on their app or their website, sign up for an account. They got a bunch of different sports up top. We'd make some picks for League of Legends, but uh, I know a lot of y'all like basketball, so we'll stick with basketball. And if you know ball, you can win some money. Say, do you think Bojan Bagdanovic can get more or less than eight and a half threes up? <laughs> All shots are good shots, baby. Keep shooting. He's shooting at least nine. I know the Lakers. I know. Demodome showing up tonight. He's dropping 30, not 24. So you gotta go with more AD all day, every day. We'll go ahead and put five dollars on this entry, and boom. And if you use code LKIB, Price Pick will match up to a hundred dollars on your first deposit. And shout out again to Price Picks for sponsoring this video. Links to everything will be in the description. Can I, can I give you some more before anybody else? I'm gonna give you some more of what uh Tony Kukoc said. Uh 30 years ago, Divach surprised America with the way he handled the ball while being this tall. Raja, when it comes to how he could catch the ball under the basket and reach the other side of the court and score. Jokic has improved a lot and can improve his game a lot. Not even what? real criticisms. That's it. Yeah, That's I'm it. like, what? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, man. Um. Oh, wait, my bad. There's more. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, this is him giving praise, I guess. Jokic is not an athlete. He doesn't run as fast as American college players. Oh, my God. But he has an incredible agil uh, ability to get the game into a rhythm that suits him. He scores, assists, catches ball, all in his own mode. When he gets the game into a rhythm that suits him, then he can do what he wants. I'm getting to a point where I feel like a lot of these uh, Europeans genuinely feel like the EuroLeague is a better product than the NBA at this point. Or at least it's the harder league. Like, they just go to the NBA, it's easier to score, 
There's $300 million bags. So let's go over there. But in terms of real hoops, where, you know what I'm saying? You need skill to succeed. You got to succeed in the EuroLeague. It's, I, I feel like I'm always, I'm almost getting that sentiment when it comes to how these players talk about playing overseas at this point. Which, is there some truth to it? I don't watch enough EuroLeague basketball to know. That nigga hating. Uh, I don't even need to drag it. That nigga hating. I don't know why you hating. Maybe you bored. Maybe you jealous. Whatever it is. That nigga hating like crazy. To add on to Damo's point, yeah, I get LeBron and JJ's pod exist now. For some reason, that's the next domino for to fall that validates only NBA player discourse in terms of opinions. No, some of these niggas are dumb. This is a dumb person speaking basketball. Um... He, was he better than I would ever be? Yes. Was he bigger, taller, stronger, faster, whatever? Cool. That nigga don't know what the hell he's talking about. The literal analysis of it wasn't even X's and O's. I don't even know what the fuck you just said, Omar. I I, I don't I don't know what I just heard, bro. That nigga said, uh, Yo, he's getting better. He's getting better, I guess. Yeah, he's getting better. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? So, um, yeah, I... Look, stop stop validating these guys just because they played. It's unfortunate we have to give this any time of day. I don't even need to sit there and be corny and talk about how much better Jokic is than Vlade. Don't need to talk about the, the, the other names. I don't even know where the fuck he got those from. So, yeah, it's just sad sad, sad news day for him, I guess. And, and real quick, Omar. So, in terms of the, the foreign product, listen, buddy. We're talking about a league being ran by Shane Larkin, Kendrick Nunn, Kimba <laughs> Walker, oh, and, and Shabazz Napier. <laughs> like, I, look, I, hey, real hoops, I guess. But goddamn, like, I, I don't know how much better the hoops can possibly be. Goddamn, Shane Larkin leading the league in, in, in points. I don't know how much better that product. Like, come on, man. Mike James and Jones. Mike James. Crazy. Both of them. <laughs> Both of them. Mike Jones probably is over there. Rapping, so. Going forward from now on, if, if you are going to allow these older guys to give criticism to the younger guys, there has to be, there literally it should be a mandate. There has to be, what can this person do? Or what is this person missing? What can this person do to become better? And if the default, because some of these people's default, I was listening to Rondo and he was on all the smoke earlier and I, I was listening to that. And just some, I thought Rondo was going to be a better podcast. I don't, I don't know why, but just some of the defaults. Oh, they don't play defense today. Oh, they, it, nobody knows how to play team basketball. You gotta have a ball in your hands to be effective. Nobody. Do. I'm like, man, that is just so tired. That is legitimately like nothing that you're saying is true. Oh, it's, it's more physical back in my day. What can this person do now? He can't turn this. It can't go in a time machine. He can't do that. So what can they do? What can Jokic do to be as good as Vladdy Diva? What can Jokic do to be? I don't even remember Buddy's name. I was just looking at Donja. I don't know. What, what can he do? <laughs> To be better than him. What can he do, Rashard McCants, to separate himself from Pau Gasol and Mark Gasol? If he wins the MVP this year, he'll have what, two, three? It'd be three. Three. He'll, he'll most likely make a deep playoff run, barring injuries, God forbid. And somehow he'll still be in the same realms as Vladdy Divac, Pau Gasol, and Mark Gasol if you ask the right people. What can what can he do? Hey, man. Another case of just, if you don't like someone, just, just say it. Or if you... If you if you have a preference towards one player, just say that. It'll make life a lot easier, and uh, it would actually make more sense. Like that, it would. I just I just like the way that he plays. That's it. No, no yeah. so as you don't understand how truly, like even with me and Domo's point, that you're hitting on the head in the sense of if you don't like somebody, bro, just say that. There's a comment on um our video, so it was basically along the lines of this. this some dude was basically commented on the past two videos. Don't y'all find NBA uh creators cringe now because of all the players that are talking about ball or anything like that I, and i was like i mean it's a parody first of all but we're, you're watching a parody but to more importantly okay uh why is your take valid um in fact he talked about that he likes uh jimmy high roller and some other youtuber it's like how is jimmy and his take valid they didn't play He's like, nah, I mean, they have well-researched takes, so maybe if you guys just uh, research a little bit more and talk real hoops. I'm like, that's a contradiction. You, 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 you said we don't know anything because we haven't played. So what's the, what the fuck is the point of researching if we still haven't played? <laughs> if Gilbert Arena says something and I say something, no matter what craft I show you, I haven't played. So at the end of the day, when it comes to Nikola Jokic, when it comes to the NBA sphere, really, it's a lot of people that just genuinely just just don't like motherfuckers okay and that's fine we literally refer to ourselves as fans of certain teams it's only natural for us to be you know damn near haters or just straight up haters of other teams but this is a weird agenda pushing y'all have to do to work around not trying to seem like a bad guy you seem like an asshole it just not admitting that hey i just don't like the motherfucker 
I say all the time, I don't like the Clippers. I'm not objective about them. People accept that. They may hate it, but they accept it and move on. But y'all sit here and try to, you know, talk about in a, in a soothing voice or sit here and pull up some research on why you don't like a motherfucker. Oh, just say you don't like